If it was a chance accident, what would we expect? We would expect that the universe would really be extremely inhospitable to life. It would just be like just tiniest little bits to sort of randomly accidentally support life, but most of it wouldn't. Uh, and that's what we observe. So you go out and you see like this, uh, the universe is massive, you know, billions of light years in size, uh, billions of years old. And 99.99999% of it is a lethal radiation filled vacuum. Uh, life can't survive in that. Uh, if you look at all the matter, the actual stuff in the universe, 99.9999% of it is stars and black holes and dust clouds and stuff. They're all lethal to life. You can't live in a sun or a black hole or any of this stuff. So you're looking at like, there's, there's almost, and then if you look at the, the tiny, tiny, tiny amount of matter in the universe that can actually have life on it, almost all of it doesn't. It's still hus inhospitable to life. Uh, and so um, that's what you would expect if it was random chance and not intelligent design. So this actually disproves the intelligent design theory. Because we, we observe what we would expect to observe, and it's really weird, like why would there be billions of light years and, and years of uh, empty space and stars and black holes that are invisible to life? Why would that, like, there's no reason why a designer would make it that way. Rather than just making like Aristotle's universe where the entire universe is inhabitable, uh, you could even have people living in the sun maybe, you know, it's like, it's right, you know, it's like, uh, but no, what we see is the opposite of this. And another thing you'd look for if you want random chances, if it's random chance, uh, that if life is a, an accident, um, it is a very rare accident. You say like, yeah, it's very improbable. Uh, and so uh, if you look at the rise of life on Earth, for example, if that's the case, you would need to see, for that to be the case, you would need to see lots of trials that failed, basically, right? You see like, there have to be lots of places in the universe where life didn't arise. And so if you see, and they have to have lots of places in the universe where these chem this chemistry is going on and not producing life. And that's what we observe. We see that like, there's tons of the universe has places where these, this kind of chemistry is going on, but as far as we know, there's no life arising in it. And, uh, and so that's exactly what we'd expect to observe, is this, this vast wasteland of failed attempts to create life. And then, of course, you get that large, you get one random accidental produce.